Okay, hello there YouTube, this is Loose for Anarchy, and I'm going to show you how to burn your own DVDs with Neuro, with Neuro, 8 and 9. It's the same process for both of them, as far as I know. I don't know if it works for the other older versions or not, but for 8 and 9, it's the same thing. So, what you're going to want to do is open up Neuro. Loading. Just let it load. Okay, and when it pops up, you're going to see these tabs up here. And you want to click Create and Edit. And then you want to go down to Author and Edit. And click that. And it'll start to load again. Uh, and then Neurovision will pop up. It's, and um, you got all these cool little options that you can do. You can make HD DVDs, even Blu ray discs, which is pretty awesome. And so, what you want to do is go to the Make DVD tab and then click the DVD video. And then it'll start to load. Loading, loading. All right, and this page will pop up. This is where you import your video file, the one that you want to burn, like a movie, whatever. Like import, you can. I don't know what the hell that does really, but you can add the video file. You can browse through your files and add it. I kind of just prefer to drag and drop it. I don't know why. It's my friend. So you can open up your documents. Here's folders. And then you can drag and drop a file right there. And it'll, let me close that. It'll load it up. And then you can click up here and name it whatever you want. In this case, I'm using Dante's Inferno. Oops. Uh, that's a really awesome movie. Uh, badass movie. Next, click next. And then here you can actually customize the background uh, by clicking the customization tab. Like this, you can like put your own pictures in the back or even a video clip as the background for your DVD. Or you can even make an intro video. You can put trailers or something like that. Whatever you want, whatever you feel like it, just, you know, go here, pick the video file, browse through your files, and put it in there. And really, I don't know, I don't really mess with this, because I, I have no, no idea what the hell it does. Tried messing with it, nothing really changed, but whatever. And you click next, and then this is like the example like when you pop it in DVD player this is what it's gonna sh look like when it loads and like you can click play on the little remote and it'll play the movie pretty neat okay stop that and you can finally click next again and here we are at the final stage and after you click next after you click burn, it'll start converting your video file into the correct format to burn it onto the DVD. So that usually, it'll give you a time estimate right here. Like this would take an hour and 28 minutes. But after that's done, it'll ask you to put in your DVD and then it'll start burning. And that's um, basically it, you guys. Um, thanks, for thanks for watching this video.